Start with the patient in supine with their knee in extension. Align the proximal arm with the lateral midline of the femur using the greater trochanter for reference. Align the distal arm using the lateral malleolus for reference. The fulcrum should be the lateral epicondyle of the femur. Hold the patient's ankle with one hand and the posterior thigh in the other. Move the patient's thigh to approximately 90 degrees of hip flexion and move the knee into flexion. Make sure to stabilize the femur throughout the entire movement. End range occurs when resistance is felt. The resistance should feel soft due to muscle bulk. Passive range of motion, right knee flexion, 0 to 138 degrees. Patient is in supine with knee in extension. Be sure to place a towel roll under the ankle to allow knee to extend as much as possible. Align the proximal arm with the lateral midline of the femur using the greater trochanter for reference. Align the distal arm with the lateral midline of the fibula using the lateral malleolus for reference. And the fulcrum should be the lateral epicondyle of the femur. Extend the patient's knee as much as possible. Be sure to stabilize the femur throughout the entire movement. End range occurs when resistance is felt. The resistance should be firm. Passive range of motion, right knee extension, 0 to 1 degrees of knee flexion. During documentation, be sure not to use pluses and minuses as they add confusion. To document Sarah's knee extension flexion range, you would record 1 degree to 138 degrees of passive knee range of motion. If the patient presents with a hyperextension of 5 degrees and a total knee flexion of 138 degrees, the appropriate way to document that would be passive range of motion, right knee extension flexion, 5-0-138 degrees.